Hi, I'm Ellen Sweeney and welcome to this week's edition of Tips for iOS. I'm going to assume that you know the basics of opening the camera app and taking a shot. I'm more interested in showing you how to use the Pro features. The first thing you need to do to take great photos is turn on your camera grid. To do this, go to Settings, scroll down to Photos and Camera, then scroll down and make sure that Grid is turned on. You may find it odd in the beginning, but this is the best way that you can be sure that your photos are straight. It superimposes a series of lines on the screen to help you compose your photos. The lines can be used as a guide for the rule of thirds. This is a principle based around the idea that photos look better when your subject isn't smack dab in the middle of the scene. Place the subject on either side of the lines and you'll have a recipe for a winning photo. The next thing you want to do is turn off the iPhone's flash. The flash is useful in some situations, like taking a photo of a person with the sun behind them. This helps remove the shadows from their face so you can actually see them. But for the most part, the flash just leaves you with washed out pictures. The best pics will be taken without a flash. Turn the flash off by tapping on the lightning bolt at the top of the screen and hitting off. The iPhone camera ensures that everything shot will be in focus, but it's still a good idea to let the iPhone know what the subject of the picture is. This allows the camera to auto adjust and show the subject in the best possible light. All you have to do is tap on the subject of your photo and set the exposure, which we will cover in the next tip. Simply tapping on the subject of the photo will add more light so that you don't need to use the flash. The iPhone will let you manually add or remove light from your photos by adjusting your exposure setting. After tapping on the subject of the photo, you'll notice a small sun icon on a vertical line to the right of the subject box. Dragging the sun up increases your exposure, while dragging the sun down decreases it. Increasing the exposure will brighten the photo, the shutter will stay open longer, and let more light hit the sensor. This can be great when working in low light settings. Do some experimenting and you'll find that you can turn an otherwise poor photo into something special. An easy way to improve the quality of your photos is to turn on Auto HDR. HDR stands for High Dynamic Range. This mode artificially enhances the darkest and lightest parts of the image to stop them from being overexposed or disappearing into blackness while keeping HDR on all the time can result in pictures looking unrealistic, auto HDR means the range is adjusted for each photo. It's worth playing around to see what works for you. To turn this on, tap the HDR at the top of the screen and turn on auto. Thanks for joining me on this week's edition of Tips for iOS. Don't forget to check out the bonus tip on the blog. If you have any questions or comments, you can post them on the site or reply to the email I sent. Now get out there and start taking great photos.